Gambler is all about TPEG, tasking, processing, exploitation, and dissemination. It's about how do we get data from time on target actually out to the warfighter. With a system like Gambler, you can interact with your data much quicker and train an AI model in the field without ever relying on the enterprise to interact with that data. So Gambler stands for the Geospatial AI ML Mesh uh, based light edge resilient system. It's a mouthful, I know, but really what it is, is it's comprised of multiple pieces of hardware and software that come together to create a workflow. To allow them to quickly identify potential threats or objects of interest and be able to plot that data onto a map. You could utilize technology that Gambler utilizes with drones to push AI as far to the tactical edge as we possibly can down to the lowest common unit. The Gambler models will produce AI detections and really what that means is just a bounding box around an object that's found within a frame of a video or a still image. And those boxes are what is pushed into the model training process. So we try to collect on the object from multiple different altitudes, multiple different azimuths. And then we get those detections out to the foxhole as quick as possible. So Oak Ridge is huge for us because they have a software that's a big part of Gambler called Mapster. The Mapster software specifically catalogs and stores all of this small unmanned system data. We're able to use crowd sourcing to push the data where we need it to go. Which Mapster then delivers to the Gambler system where the AI models live to run against the data, enrich it with AI, and disseminate it out to the end user. So the testing down at Oak Grove Technologies was a culmination of a lot of work that the team had put in. The Gambler exercise in North Carolina was primarily to work in tandem with the 18th Airborne Corps and their Scarlet Dragon exercise. They asked us to come out and generate a model for an air defense radar system called a Sentinel. They brought the Sentinel system over to Oak Grove Technologies where we were located. We trained an AI model to detect that radar system on the first two days, and by the third day, the AI model was finding that radar system in new data sets. We actually worked some additional scenarios for potential support to southern border operations. Counter narcotics, they can't patrol them 24-7. So we just did some more training on that model where we were running scenarios. We had people that were moving in and out of tunnel systems so that we can discriminate between a migrant versus an armed person versus a tree. When we went down there, we flew drones, we processed the data, we trained models on the ground. We then sent those detections out through numerous different communication channels. We were able to prove all of our workflows from an AI model perspective. So it was a mutually beneficial exercise for Scarlet Dragon. I think the future looks like a faster, easier to use solution in the hands of every end user or end user unit. Gambler is taking this AI, it's making it man portable so that we can actually do the work in a disconnected environment. The warfighter can go after targets that are specific to their mission set because it provides them with the next piece of technology that's going to solve the next hard problem. Not only is there potentially hostile or enemy equipment, we now know where it is in space time and the most recent known location of this object. Whether it be a radar system, a combat vehicle, you name it, we can train it to find whatever we want it to and it will tell us where in space time that object is located.